Let's look at properties of exponents. You already know what exponents are, and you know how to simplify basic exponents like 4 to the third, but now we're going to get into exponent rules and zero and negative exponents. So if you have a number raised to the power of zero, any number, it is equal to 1. So you see here, a to the zero power is 1, 7 to the zero power is 1, 1,000 to the zero power is 1. Every number raised to the zero power is 1. Now if you have a number with a negative exponent, it is the reciprocal of that number raised to the absolute value of the exponent. So a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a n. So with numbers, which is a little bit easier to see, if you have 3 to the negative fourth, it's equal to 1 over 3 to the positive fourth, which simplifies to 1 over 81. Any number with a positive exponent is the reciprocal of that same number raised to the opposite of that exponent. So it's the same thing here. Um, technically, if you have a number raised to a positive exponent, you flip it and it's raised to the negative exponent instead you are not going to have to simplify like from a positive to a negative. But the reason you might need this is let's say you have an answer and this is your answer when you're finished with a problem. You would want to rewrite that. You would want to flip it and then you would want to solve. So it just needs to be understood that whenever you see a negative exponent, you have to flip and make the exponent positive. All right, so we have some rules now. So the first is going to be the product rule. And what this is, I'm gonna give you an example first. So if you have m to the fourth times m to the third, you see multiplication, so your brain probably wants to say, oh, okay, well that's m to the twelfth, but it's not. It's actually m to the seventh. So the rule itself is that you, when you multiply two powers with the same base, you add the exponents. So try to resist the urge to multiply, you're going to add the exponents. Now the power rule is different. The power rule looks like this. If you have m to the fourth raised to the third power, so the whole thing raised to the third power, then your answer would be m to the twelfth power. So this rule says when raising a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. And then the last rule is the quotient rule. So this one says if you are dividing two bases, I'm sorry, two powers with the same base, you're going to subtract the exponents. All right, I'm gonna move on to some examples. If you need a few more um, seconds to copy that down, you can always pause this video and then hit play when you're ready to move on. So we're gonna simplify these six expressions using what we just learned about the exponents. So number one, negative eight to the zero power. Remember, any number to the zero power is just equal to one. Down here, number two, we have negative six raised to the negative third power. So you're going to flip that and you're gonna say it's raised to the positive third power. And then we can go ahead and we can simplify this. And your answer is gonna be one over negative 216. Now this does say right here to just write your answer using exponents. So 
this is your official answer for that, but I want you to, I'm still gonna show you the fully simplified answer. So over here, one over three to the negative fifth is gonna be equal to three to the fifth over one. Now that's technically your answer per the directions, but we're gonna simplify it a little bit further, and that's gonna be 243. Over here, we have the same base, so we're going to add our exponents, and I'm gonna show you what this looks like right here. So we'll have negative three plus negative three. So your answer is negative three to the negative six. But when you have fully simplified exponents, you're not going to have a negative exponent. So that's actually gonna turn around and be one over negative three to the positive six. So that's your finalized answer right there. And I will go ahead and simplify it for you just because, so it's going to end up being one over 729. Make that a little bigger for you. The next one, this is the products, or I'm sorry, the power rule here. So you're gonna take these two and you're gonna multiply them together. So your answer is going to be two to the 12th. That's your answer with exponents. And then when simplified out, it's 4,096. And then right here, you this is a quotient rule, so you're going to subtract. So you're gonna have four squared minus negative two. Make sure you remember that you subtract the two, so if it has a negative, it has to come as well. So this is equal to four to the fourth, and that would be your answer with exponents. And then if we go ahead and simplify that out, your answer is 256. So if you need to, a few more minutes on this page or on this um, part of the video, go ahead and hit pause. And I'm going to move on to simplifying one large expression with exponents. So you don't, you know, this, this table is just set up basically so I can walk you through all the steps. Um, you can easily copy this down on a sheet of paper. So our step one is going to be apply the zero exponent rule. You wanna look for that first um, because it'll help you get rid of any zeros, which you don't really need. Um, in this case, we don't have it here. So I'm just gonna write NA. Your next one, we are going to so if you're looking at this problem, the first thing you're going to want to do if you think of order of operations um, would be to get rid of the parentheses. And the way we get rid of the parentheses is going to be to use the product rule. And these steps are not going to always be the same. Um, it's going to, you're going to have to look at the expression and try to figure out what you need to do first. But in this case, we're going to apply the product rule first. So we're going to distribute the negative four to each term in the parentheses. So what that's going to look like is you're going to have two squared on top, and then down here you're going to end up with two to the negative eight, eighth, x to the eighth, and y to the negative twelfth. Next, we're going to apply the negative exponent rule. We want to get rid of those if we can. Remember, negative exponents mean they flip. So we have a negative exponent here and one right here. So those are going to end up on top. So 2 to the 8th, 2 squared, y, 12th, all over x to the 8th. We're going to, if needed, we would apply the product rule. Which is needed here. So we have two bases that are the same, right here and right here. So we're going to go ahead and add those exponents. So we're going to end up with two to the 10th, y to the 12th, all over x to the eighth. 
So if needed, we would apply the quotient rule. So once you simplified like that, if there were still um, uh, terms with the same base on top and bottom, you would go ahead and apply the qu quotient rule to get them on the same side of the division bar, which is not the case here. So we're just going to leave this as is and bring it down. And then you can simplify each exponent. Now if you're asked to give your answer in exponents, then it would just end as is. Um, but if we're going to go ahead and write this whole thing out, 2 to the 10th power is 1024. And then we obviously can't do anything with our variables, so they're going to stay as is. So here's this whole thing if you'd like to see it and the steps that we took to simplify the exponents that have when all of the rules are involved.